Hi everybody, I'm Lian Duan. Today we are going to Helm 3 chart global values. The topic I'm going through in these videos are how to handle values cross charts, what are global values, which values are should be global values, how to add global values in three tiers application, and then demo. First topic, how to handle values cross charts. Values cross charts means pairing a chart and the sub chart have to use the same value, such as a certain name cross pairing the chart and the sub chart. Or two sub charts have to use the same service name and the service port. There are two main challenges. A sub chart should not be dependent on pairing the chart because a subchart needs to run itself. Subchart cannot access parent chart value. Two solutions are available. One is use parent chart to overwrite values for subcharts. Other is use global values. Today we focus on the how to use global values. Next topic, what are global values? The parent chart or subchart is able to use exactly the same name to access global values. Global values are in values.yaml file, same as other values. The global values name is values.global.values name. Support overwrite means parent chart global values are able to override the same name global values in subchart. Following question, which values are should be global values? As I mentioned before, if the values are used by multiple charts, the values should be global values. Let me analyze three tiers application to find a value across different charts. Three tiers application has Redis DB layer, Spring Boot Redis for API layer, and the React UI layer. The main files are below. Front and React UI layer use domain api.helm3training.com to access the Spring Boot Redis for API layer. And Spring Boot use Redis service name and port to access Redis DB. So the Redis service name and the port are used in Spring Boot chart and React DB chart. There's main change YAML file list. In DB layer, we have to change backend DB ready service dot YAML file, and also change the backend DB ready test connection dot YAML file. In backend Spring Boot layer, backend Spring Boot config file have to change because the config file includes ready the service name and the service port. After the changing files are found, how to add global values? There are two steps. First step, add global values into three charts values.yaml file. Because if we only add the global values on parent's React UI chart, Redis DB and Spring Boot chart cannot run independently. So we have to add the global value into three charts. The format is incorrect, let me fix it. The format issue fixed. The value, the right value in there. Two elements under the global. One is ready the service name, other is ready the service port. Second step, add the values global ready the service name and ready the port into three chart templates YAML file. If you are not familiar Helm 3 values, please click below link to get the detail. Latest topic, demo. I copied the my app written folder and then renamed it to V11. Next, I did a change based on above analysis. Let me open the WinMerge to show my change. The UI has two parts. 
Left part is a V10 file. Right part is V11 file. I will open the file from top to bottom one by one, show my change. First file, backend db redis test connection.yaml file. Use values.global redis service name and values.global.redis service port. To replace local values, test command did the same change. Next, backend db redis service.yaml file. Service name used the global value. Also, port part change to values.global.redis port value. Note file do the same global value replacement. In chart.yaml file, there are only version changed. Values.yaml file add global Reddit service name and Reddit service port. Next, move to my app backend Spring Boot app chart. Spring config is changed. Use two global values. Chart.yaml file only has version change. Add global value in the values.yaml file. Move to my app frontend React app chart. Why does it show frontend React ingress.yaml file change? Let me open it. Oh, the YAML file is only space change in there. It should not affect our testing. I close it. Versions are changed in chart.yaml file. The log file change because I run Helm dependencies update before. Chart.yaml file. Since we changed the chart version from 10 to 11, I did the same version update in the dependency section. If you want to revisit Helm 3 chart dependencies, please click above link to get more detail. Values. As I mentioned before, we have to add global values in the parent chart. There are two global values. I go through all the change files. If you have some questions for the change files, please add your question in below comment section. I will try to answer. Next, Tessa changed my app backend DB Redis chart. Remote login to my Lini box. Go to the V11 folder and open my app backend DB Redis. Run command Helm install. Chart name is DB with parameter 30 run and debug to verify YAML file format. After YAML file format is verified, next command install the chart. Test the ready service connection after chart installed. Above link has the Helm 3 chart test detail. Test success. My app backend DB ready is Changing looks good, and then test the Spring Boot layer. Open the chart folder. Run Helm install command with parameter 30 run debug to verify YAML file format. YAML file format verify success and then install. Install successfully. Next, test the Spring Boot service connection. Test the pass. When the Spring app start up, Spring Boot will connect to the backend DB Redis service. If the connection is failed, Spring Boot app cannot start up. So that step means Spring Boot app use global Redis service and the global Redis service port to connect backend DB Redis service successfully. Latest test the React UI layer. Open the folder. Since the 
UI layer is a parent chart. First step, clean up about two subcharts. Next step, update chart dependencies. The chart name, subchart name, and the versions. If your test environment, the version is 10.0.0, please run command helm dependencies update plus dot to update your local dependencies subcharts. Update completed. Following step, run command helm install plus release name to install three tiers application var React UI parent chart. It's not completed. Latest step, tie the three services connection. DB layer ties the connection successfully. Rise for API layer, Spring Boot test, no issue. Front and UI layer React test passed. All topics are completed. Today we learned how to handle values cross charts. What are global values? Which values are should be global values? How to add global values in three tiers application and run living demo. Thanks you for your watching the video. I hope it was help. And it was. Do not forget to like it. If you want to be notified whenever new videos comes out, then subscribe to my channel. If you have any question or something was not clear in the video, please post them in comment section below and I will try to answer. Thank you and see you in the next video.